In this video, we're going to look at an amazing study that I'd never heard of. Now, recently I was sent an article written by a health professional that stated eating too much fruit in one sitting may spike your blood sugar. Too much fruit can cause you to eat less of other foods like healthy fats and proteins and that those with prediabetes should be very careful with fruit and only eat one serving of fruit per meal and to always combine it with a source of protein, fiber or fat. But we know that controlling our blood sugars is important because the longer a high amount of glucose is in our bloodstream, the more damage it could potentially cause to our blood vessels, nerves and tissues. For example, those with diabetes need to have their feet, eyes and kidneys checked regularly. Those with uncontrolled blood sugars are also at higher risk for cardiovascular complications like heart attacks, strokes and are more prone to infections. Fruit is a rich source of carbohydrates, so should we be limiting not only our fruit intake but also our overall carb intake? Well, let's hear now from Dr. Michael Clapper. In 1927, Dr. Harvey Shirley did such a powerful, illustrative study that he took medical students, he was teaching at the medical school, I think up in Canada, uh, and he took a whole bunch of med students, divided them up into two groups. One he put on a high carbohydrate diet. He just loaded them up with white sugar and white bread. And the other group, they put on a high fat diet, loaded them up with, with butter and olive oil, fatty meats. After a week on both those kinds of diets, he did a glucose tolerance test where you have them eat some sugar, draw a blood sugar test every hour. It turns out that the med students who were eating the high sugar diet had an absolutely normal glucose tolerance. Their sugar went up, went down, and by two hours, their sugar was back down to normal even though they were eating a high carbohydrate diet. But the med students who were eating that high fat diet, even though they were healthy young men and women, they all developed diabetic glucose tolerance curve. Their sugars went up and stayed up for hours after from the high fat diet. And it was all reversible. When they went back to their normal diet, everybody reverted back to normal again. But it showed how a high fat diet clogs up your insulin receptors and creates that effect of type 2 diabetes. It turns out it's the fats in the diet that cause the problem when and combined with the sugar. The fats clog up your insulin receptors so insulin doesn't work well and then when you eat a little carbohydrates the sugars go way up and Dr. Atkins says see it's the, the bad carbs are causing all the problems. We're of course not promoting refined carbohydrates such as white bread, cookies, candy, high fructose corn syrup etc but we are encouraging whole food sources of carbohydrates such as whole grains, beans, fruits and vegetables. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.